Hi, I'm Peter Kalmström of Kalmström.com Business Solutions. In this demonstration, I'll talk about news and how to distribute them across your company. In my example here, I have no less than three site collections. First of all, I have the HQ one, which is for company shared information. Then I have the IT site collection. And then I have the sales site collection. As you see, they're rather empty, all of them. I've done some modifications to the HQ site here. But what I'm going to do first is just create one app in each. So I'm going to create an announcements app here on the HQ. So I'm going to call that HQ News. And on the HQ site, everyone already has permissions to read the information there. On the IT site, only the people from the IT department have permissions to read. I'm going to call that IT News. And finally, we go into the sales site and create an app there too with announcements. And I'm going to call that sales news. So there we go. Now I'm going to add some content. Go to HQ, go into edit mode, and just write title HQ news one. And in the grid here, it's very easy to make a copy of that. So I'm going to do HQ news two also. And uh, then under the IT. I'll do the same thing. Now notice that the IT news are only available for those people who are in the IT team. All right, so now we have six news items across my organization. Now I want to display all of them on my HQ homepage, like that. So I'm going to go to the home site there. And then I'm going to edit that page. I'll remove this snippet for now. And then insert the web part here on the content rollup. I want to do a content search. And since I have created all those lists based on the announcement template, I can use something called the content type to find all the news items. So of course, I edit the web part, change the query. It's items matching a content type, not from the current site from the entire organization. And then I can select to show only the announcements. So far I'm not seeing any, but that's because my content was just created. So I'm gonna click OK there, and then I'm gonna select that to list with paging, and I'm gonna do a two lines that works best for news. And here are my news popping up now, and they've already been indexed. So I can apply that, and then just save the page. And here are my news. I think I forgot to change the max number of items. That's why I'm only showing three here. But let's go in and edit the web part again. Yes, I'm going to do 50 there. I should see six at this point, right? Yes, those are six news items. But the really cool thing is that if I go back here and switch over to Google Chrome and refresh this page being logged in as Antonio, You'll notice that I see the sales news, I see the HQ news, but I don't see the IT news. So again, the search results are always security trimmed. So that concludes this demonstration. Thank you for watching.